What's up, everybody? Saturday again. We got a uh, not too busy of a day to get today, but we're still gonna head over to the farm and get some stuff done. We're gonna start today running up the road gang and make my weekly donation to that place. Then I'm gonna work on the spreader, try and see if I can get the headlights to work. They come on, but they're just really dim for some reason. And then lastly, we're gonna take both semis out to the guy we're doing some custom hauling for. So we're gonna take him out there and he's gonna pick him full when he gets time. So that's the plan, let's do it. Well, the other day we went and looked at a new combine. Not a new combine. It's it's about the same age as mine. It's a 2388. Mine's a 2366. So it's just a little bit bigger combine and a little bit bigger head. Eight row head versus six row head, and a 30 foot bean head versus a 20 foot bean head. So hopefully that I think we're gonna try and get it. So we'll see. By the next video, I'll know for sure if we're gonna do it or not. But if there's anybody out there that's interested in mine, hit me up. You can you can see it in some of the older videos. It's a good good machine. Changed quite a bit of stuff on it. We keep up with it. Roger keep, checks it out every year and changes everything that needs to be changed. So yeah, hit me up. My email's down in the description if uh, anyone's interested. I guess well, when I started farming with Dad, I had a pretty specific plan in my head of what I've wanted to upgrade and to make our uh, farm more efficient and a new combine would might be one of the last steps to my original goals. I, uh, I wanted to get another big tractor which I did with Blue so we had two two tractors that could basically do everything we did and then I wanted to get a new cone tank which we put up this last year and I wanted to get semis, which now we have two semis. So I've upgraded almost everything I, I want to upgrade. Oh, and the planters. We had a six row planter and a 15 foot drill. And now we got two 30 foot planters. So over the last uh, six, seven years, we've upgraded almost all the equipment that I use, which is pretty exciting. We have a really good line of equipment now. We can we can grow with what we got. Especially if we get a new combine this size, it it has duals and four-wheel drive, more horsepower, more capacity. It'll be a good good match for growing. So that last step is just finding more work and more acres, which that'll come at some point. We're starting to get a little bit of custom hauling, and hopefully I get the spreader fixed up. We can do some custom spreading. Maybe some custom plant. Then hopefully we'll get some more ground to rent down the road. But it's exciting. It's exciting. You can definitely see the plan I always had in my head from where the farm was when I started coming together. Uh, obviously the big one, I wish my dad was still with me doing it, but I know he's watching. He's proud of what we're doing. So yeah, it's exciting, exciting times. Never know what I'm gonna get when I go in that store. Pretty good haul this time. Got a new work hat. Got a new battery charger because the other one's uh, broke right now. Josh is gonna fix it. The, need new handles on it. And some floor dry. And some jerky. Pretty solid, solid haul there. Went in there only really expecting to get floor dry. But, you know, you gotta buy shit when you're there. I love that store. Alright, we're heading back to the farm. And we're gonna start checking batteries on the semis. See if I need to charge any of those. I need to plug in the, the 88, the big semi. So it's ready to roll and we're ready to take it out to uh, the guy we're custom hauling for his place. And 
and then we're gonna look at the lights on the spreader. I want to turn it there. Let's see if see if we got power. I'm not gonna start this, but yeah, we at least at least got power. Plug her in and let it warm up. This one has been dying on us lately. We're not sure why. Well, I might have to charge this guy. Oh yeah, that's good too. Just plug them in and let the block heater warm them up. And we'll fire them up and let them warm up. Oh, I should have cooked the heat on in the in the shop here before I went to Real King. It's cold out today. It's about 10 outside. It's still 40 in here, but it's still cold. I need to check my propane tank again. Make sure we're not running out because it was low last time I checked. Down to like 20%. I need to get those guys out here and fill her up. Got some barn dry because we got oil all over on the shop floor. I need to clean that stuff up. When it gets warm out, taking all this equipment out of here and giving this shop a good clean. I mean, it's just, there's dirt and oil and crap everywhere in here. It needs a good, uh, good cleaning. Well, we're gonna let this uh, shop heat up and start diving into these lights and see if I can figure out what's going on. Um, and another thing we can work on is putting in uh, the 750 into the sprayer and get this all set up. I showed this to you. The field IQ. That's what's going to operate the rate and turn on and off the different sections. We might work on getting that put in too. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. Well, not making a whole lot of progress here. Talked to the guy that works on some of our trucks, John Shy. He was saying it might be a dimmer switch or a ground that's making it dimmer. So I took this. This is a dimmer switch. It. It was all froze up and rusty. So I took it out and got it working again, but it's still pretty bad. I just ordered a new one. So we'll see if that's the problem. Wire that up. When I get back here, or in a couple days when I get it, I mean. And see what that does. See if that helps us at all. Hopefully that'll do it. If not, I think he's gonna come check it out if that doesn't fix it. But, I think we're done with that for today. I still kind of want to work on this. But, we'll see how far I get. I'm going to go check on the trucks. And see if they'll fire up. They've been, they've been plugged in for a good hour, hour and a half. So, should be good to go by now. charger on it let it charge for a little while and it plugged it in with the cord I was using for over there so see what happens with that this one starts a lot better than the other one normally so I don't know let's see what happens well, she's getting warm now with the barn smoked out Got the new charger on this one. And I don't know if I really like it. It doesn't doesn't have any gauge or anything on it. I don't know. I don't really like it very much though. It'll get the job done though. 
Well, I'm gonna let that warm up for 10, 15 minutes and then we'll probably head out with it. Worry about putting that monitor in another day. All right, so we're getting ready to roll out here. Never got to show you the inside of this thing. It's pretty nice. Hey, it's got sleeper back there. It's old school, but it's nice. Big ass hood on it. I haven't drove this truck very much. Josh normally drives it, but we're gonna see what we can do here. Let's do her. Well, sadly, we lost audio on all my footage after this point. So we did end up getting both trucks out there. And he got them loaded up and we brought them home. It's the first time we've had both trucks in the field at the same time. So that was pretty cool. But that's probably it for this show. We'll see you, we'll see you next time.